KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you, Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Refusing to answer questions is also grounds for contempt, as the chair has noted. And I guess my first question to you is, is it your intention to refuse to answer any of our questions today? I, Francis De La Cruz, hereby object to the subpoena that served on me today. Okay. Thank you. Privilege. We've heard this day. I, we've heard this 10 times. After weeks so of waiting I, 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 and a written I, 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 affidavit, the House Investigative I, Committee I, finally I, got to question the governor's executive I, assistant, Francis De La Cruz. However, De La Cruz objected to the subpoena and reread a prepared statement. I object to this subpoena because my employer and I have raised testimonial immunity, executive privilege as provided under the constitutional separation of powers doctrine. Flanked by attorneys, she says in part that the subpoena is overbroad and exceeds the scope of the legislature's power. It seems like they practice, 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 not to say anything. The governor, all the time, he has nothing to hide. I believe he should encourage the witnesses, just like what Rep. Prop said, to come in here and just tell the truth, nothing but the truth. And lawmakers had enough. This time there is a unanimous vote to hold Ms. De La Cruz in contempt and report to the speaker for further certification to the Attorney General. That motion by unanimous vote um, it carries. Tomas Manglotnia for KUAM News on Saipan. Go on recess.